Had they finished that game and lost in the manner in which they lost, which was sloppy, we'll get to that as the morning goes on, I could buy that. I could say, eh, not a division game. Yes, it's obviously a, a NFC game, but these two teams we expected to be in the postseason hunt, be in the postseason anyway. So you lose a little ground in the seeding competition. Big freaking deal. Yeah. However, when your starting quarterback goes out with a maybe big injury, sort of big injury, kind of big, we shall see big injury out three to six weeks, three to four weeks, depending on which insider you I'm, I'm going with our guy. I'm going three to four. I'm going with Shefty. And to be perfectly honest with you, Gabe, I believe that is what the Packers believe as well. So Jordan Love goes out of the game against the Eagles. Packers lose the game, and Jordan Love goes out with an injury, and now everybody is worried. But how worried are you? We have the Seinfeld scale of concern here on Jen, Gabe, and Chewy, so we're probably just going to roll with that for this morning. How concerned are you on the Seinfeld scale of concern that Jordan Love will be out for at least three weeks? I got to tell you guys, I think they dodged a bullet. When it happened and people were freaking out, I immediately my husband said to me, oh, that's an ACL. That's an ACL injury. You, know, you saw the pain, you saw him writhing, and then you saw him walk off, which, as we all know, is what you can do with a torn ACL. You can do a lot of things. Tough to do the lateral movement, but when you're walking off the field, famously, you're not doing that. So I said, I don't know. And then, of course, the com conversation of the ankle came up, right? We saw the knee pop out in that slow motion shot as Jalen Carter kind of tried to make a tackle, bring him down. And for people who are getting upset at Jalen Carter, can we not? That was a football play, yeah, right, yeah. Gabe? No, it was 100% fine. You're trying to take down the quarterback. Dirty. You're trying to end the game at that situation because yeah. the Packers are out of timeouts and all that. Yeah, no, there was nothing wrong with anything that happened. It was all clean. I understand people getting in their feelings over it. So, Chu, I think they got very lucky with yeah. the timetable being three, two, four, maybe six weeks. Uh, when I looked at it in slow-mo, it didn't look ACL-ish. It just didn't. And then when he was moving around and you heard he wasn't on crutches or an immobilizer or anything like that, um, I felt pretty good. It's going to be four games. It's going to be four. Because they're not rushing $55 million back, Right. He's going to have to be 100%, and I've had MCL sprains, and they're fine, but it's probably going to be four weeks. Wait, what do you have to do for an MCL sprain? Nothing, just treat it. you got to wait till obviously, the pain goes away, and then you got to start strengthening it and getting the stability back in the knee. Yeah, most guys that have played have had an MCL. It's just nagging, you know? How does it limit you? Your mobility, you know, because it hurts. It's oh. unfortunately that is a highlight. Yeah, that's <laughs> why. That's why I'm thinking more four weeks. Helps when quarterbacks are mobile, right? Yeah, right? especially with this offensive line. <laughs> yes, you'd like to be a little <laughs> bit mobile, right? Um, but we said it before the season even started. You have to have a backup that can win half of the games when your starting quarterback is out and. I don't think this guy can. I'm sorry. They got four games. Colts, Titans, Vikings, Rams. They'll be favored in one. Well, how many do they have to win? Let's Two. use the number of four. Yes. If, if Jordan Love misses four games, how many games do they have to win with their backup quarterback in order for you to feel like, phew, could have been real bad, wasn't that bad? Two. Two and two. Two and two keeps them in it. If they lose four so that'd be five losses, Good. and then you're going to go on that stretch of Texans, Jaguars, Lions, Bears, 49ers, Dolphins, Lions, Seahawks. If if they can if they beat the Titans, which they should beat the Titans, if if they lose to the Titans in two weeks, then it's full on panic mode. Zero and three is is I'm tough. I'm freaking to out. Yeah, I'm, I'm out. freaking out right now. And in terms of this injury, I'm freaking out because Chewy, like Chewy said, when whenever he comes back from this injury, right up next is the gauntlet part of the season. Mm -hmm. And Jordan really didn't play. Jordan was sloppy. All right, like injury aside, he did not play very well. He was no. bad. Well, he was bad in the game. To be fair, though, the sloppiness was not exclusive to Jordan. No, Lewis. no, no, no. I got a list. But he was. <laughs> oh. Wait, you came prepared today? I got a list. <laughs> What? You don't have a list? He springs it on us at 7 <laughs> 7. Do you want to hear my list? Of course. Uh, can we wait? Right now, we want to hear the well, slot. He's, he's going to forget. 
Uh, hold on. What am I doing here? Sorry. It's now it's a Monday. Now he's already Talk amongst them. yourselves. Well, we were waiting on your <laughs> slop I mean, list. All right, here's the list. Seat. Come on, internet. So it's not your list. It's a our list. list. Well, um, you can start with Jordan. Jordan didn't play great. He played good. The flashes, but there were some throws like the one he threw at the feet of Jaden Reed. Jaden Reed. Um, Jaden Reed was wide open. I think there was almost a pick six there to N'Kobe Dean. Um, <laughs> it was bad. Rashad Gary. I don't want to hear a sack. The only reason he got a sack is because the offensive lineman thought he jumped off sides and yep. stopped playing, and then he had a sack. Three tackles. Uh, Devontae Wyatt, one tackle. It's just... Luke Musgrave, what the hell happened there? He starts the game, and then he only plays a handful of plays, and it's Kraft? I mean, Kraft was really good. Yeah. Where, where'd he go? I thought this was going to be a dynamic duo. Devontae Wex catch the damn ball. Now, some of those balls weren't right on target I mean, because love. Uh, love was not Chris, but still, you got to catch the ball. You know? Jaden Reed, is that your only offensive weapon? Josh Jacobs, to me, looked overweight and slow. Really? Sorry. Man. I thought Wilson had more pop, more explosiveness than he did. Okay, let me ask you this, though. Because one of the other big storylines coming out of Brazil was that the field was craptastic. Mm-hmm. Right? Everybody was, I mean, the slipping early on. The first time Josh Jacobs got the ball. Yeah. Whoop! Thought we were watching an old uh, comedy sketch, yeah. you know? Three. Yeah, that wasn't it. It was not good. I don't know why they do this. I really don't. Oh, you know why? Well, it's all money, but I mean, come on. Yeah, it's money, and they don't care. I uh, get another one. Jair, <laughs> shut your mouth. How about just shut up and play football? You got fried. Okay. I understand talking trash, but don't talk trash to good players. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't that feel like that should be on the Chewy Ten Commandments? Yeah. Right? Like, I understand talking with... trash, but don't talk trash to good players. <laughs> Am I right or wrong? Oh, Look, he got burned so got bad fried. on that touchdown by A.J. Yeah. Brown. Tried to get so physical with bad. him. Basically whiffed. So bad. Uh, O-line. It was leaky. There's two good players. The two we knew were good. Yep. <laughs> Yeah. That's it. Uh, Zach Tom how, and Elton Jenkins. How about when, and I'm all for motion. We've talked about this, right? This goes back to the Aaron Rodgers days where Rodgers was like, we can't just motion to motion. And I believe, Chewy, you stand with him on that as well. Mm-hmm. So they've got the motion, and then Tucker Craft also motions at the same time, and then it was like, flag, illegal shift, cannot motion while he is motioning. Yeah. Now, I will say this. Uh, Halfley had um, Kellen Moore. On his heels. Kellen Moore didn't know what he was doing early in the game. Okay. You didn't think so? I mean. I mean, they had Hurts confused. There were some bad. Sure. And then they figured it out. Sure. They gave up. They gave up 34 points, 400, 400, yeah. 400 plus yards. Sure. And, oh, by the way, running back had a good. Stop me if you've heard any of this before when it comes to the Packers defense. Uh, running back had a good game. Couldn't stop the run. Yeah. Time to get off the field. Got to make a stop. Get the ball back to the offense. Yeah. Guess what they can't do? Meet the Packers' new defense. Brand new, sparkling new defense. Same as the last. What the hell do you expect when you don't do anything in the preseason? Well, let me ask you this. Because, again, I think you guys are bringing up a lot of excellent points, a lot of, uh, of uh, relevant points. But how does that affect it going forward? Like, again, pre- no preseason. So this was essentially their preseason, which explains why it looked like sloppy, sloppy Joe. I get it. But how does this affect them going forward? Because... If you expect it to get incrementally better, does that then take steps back when you don't have your starting quarterback? One of the top pay, uh, paid players in the league, which, by the way, Dak Prescott got paid yesterday, so he jumps to whoop, top spot in the league now. We can no longer say that Jordan Love is the highest paid quarterback in the NFL. It, it, that's what I'm wondering. Do these things you saw on Friday affect the team going forward, you Or is it a one-off because you're playing an international game, you had the travel, you got the sloppy field, or, the, yeah, the messed up field? Or do you think this will be a continuation? We will continue to see some of this slop because no preseason. Uh, we'll continue to see slop, but I continue to see it's not all Joe Barry Carroll. Some of these play like Preston Smith, was even on the field? Yeah. He had a couple run stops. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's he's fine. It's fine. He's he's not part of the problem. 
I don't know if he's part of the solution. Um, Quay Walker. And they're got, a good. They're a good. You offense. want to talk about getting burned? Quay Walker just flying up in the A gap, and oh, there he goes. Yeah, oh, there, no, there goes Saquon. Know, there, there, there's work. To, is it panic time? Like I said, if Jordan Love didn't get hurt, I'm like, who cares? It's fine. Sure, but this now this is preseason game number three. But now I need more out of that defense. I need more out of that offensive line. I need more out of Luke Musgrave. So it becomes concerning when you have now starting a quarterback who couldn't even get a Hail Mary throw off. Yeah. And now that's who your starter is for the next minimum no, five weeks. Everybody else has to raise their game, and I am nervous about them being able to do so.